You could have thought it was a dinner theater. Who knows? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm like not the most intelligent fella. <laughs> intelligent right. enough. So I successfully turned the volume down on my fish. Yay! Oh, awesome. You turned your fish down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's what I call it because you just put more water in them and all of a sudden they make less noise. <laughs> you put more water in the fish? More, more water. War water, yes. War water it's, in the fish. It's war water right now because they're doing a bunch of system flushes so you have to put extra chemicals in it so you don't kill your stock. Um. So... Yeah, so they got like a triple dose of prime. <laughs> so here we go. Anyways. Um, Baradun, um, I have relocated yes. you to the chapel. I um, see this. Um, Father Syracuse is um, giving a super monotonous, super boring um, sermon about the difference between right and wrong and saving yourself for, for marriage. This. <laughs> Um, he, he doesn't really, uh, convey, um, uh, or he doesn't elicit a good response, um, from most people who listen to him, because he has this very drawling voice, it's very monotone, um, but he does take his work very seriously, um, even if it's only one or two people who are listening, um, and <clears throat> while he is, uh, going on, he doesn't actually ever look at you, he keeps on looking back towards the, uh, uh, like the divider in the room, as though he's talking to someone beyond it. Um, um, Olivia, um, <clears throat> you're in what's called the uh, sensory room. <laughs> I'm in the sensory room. Yes. Um, like touchy feely so... sensory or sniff sensory. Um, or both. <laughs> It's, um, the, the locals call it the loud room. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, and, uh, there's a, a set of triplets who all work in here, and they're identical. Um, they're, uh, three tiefling women. Um, there's Destiny, there's Cherry, and there's Pearl. And they, uh, they all have special skills that they, uh, perform in this room behind, <laughs> um, walls for their, uh, their patrons and their patrons usually giving whales of pain and pleasure um have or what's pe or is why people call this the louder makes sense mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh tonight you found your way into the uh uh the the zone of uh, cherry who um ironically um looks for her cherry to be popped to any opportunity she has oh. technically you can only do that once Unless you're magic. <laughs> Unless you're magic. Oh, greater restoration. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. um, Pepper and Pick. Um, Bill Raya is uh, gyrating in a very um, uh, essential-ish way. Um... Can you roll me charisma checks, please? Okay, so I press the charisma button? Yeah, yes. just the base charisma. Okay. I rolled an 11. Wait, how do I do this? So where the button is, where the box is, if you click on the modifier. Oh! It'll I'm sorry, I, I missed <laughs> that instruction. Was that all of us, or was that one? No, it was just the two of them. Pepper and that room. Great. Go. All right, great rules. They weren't great enough. Um, this dancer is by far um, the most confusing best one you've ever seen to this point <laughs> in your life. You don't really understand what she's doing, but confound it all, it's a <laughs> Okay. That's all I have for you. Um, she's going to kind of start uh, walking down the, uh, yeah, the plank here. Um, to kind of give you a more up close and personal taste of her medicine. Um, um, pick. Do you recoil or lean into when she reaches a hand out towards you? Um, pick is gonna kind of like lean, like sit in there for a minute and lean slightly and be like, 
Um, no, thank like, you, ma'am. I bite. All right. As she tries to be as uh, smooth as possible, um, you are able to shirk out just outside of her reach, and she kind of looks slightly taken aback. Um, you do notice out of the corner of your eye, she as she turns, she rolls her eyes very exasperately as she starts to circle the room. Pepper, are you paying attention to her, or are you paying attention to something else at this point? I, I am paying attention to other things. I am looking at the flowers, at the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, let's see. She's not very perceptive. She can't tell that you're looking at other things. She's very full of herself. She thinks you're paying attention to her, despite the fact you're not looking at her. Um, you're actually being coy because she's so attractive. Um, so she's going to put her hand on your shoulder to get your attention directly on her. Um, her hand is clammy. <laughs> Pepper might uh, jump at a little bit at the sudden hand on her shoulder because she is so engrossed in the fauna and flora around her that she just, oh, I, I'm so sorry. Can I help you? Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you weren't encaptured and enraptured by my moves. Oh, hip, um, throat, hip wiggle. I, I apologize. I'm, I, I'm actually here for quite the lovely decoration they put together for you. Um, it might be helpful for the town, you see. I, I, I'm so sorry. That's all right. I will retire for the evening since my audience seems a bit wanting. And these hips don't lie. They don't lie down, they don't lie up, and they don't lie for you. Uh, well, have a good lie? She only has sex standing. She only has sex standing. <laughs> okay. Um, Talented. Pick and Pepper, you are alive. Yes. Moving to Faradun. Okay. Um, Faradun. Um... It is a smallish room. Uh, as Father Syracuse is uh, droning on, and if you have sex before being in the I, holiest I of matrimonies, I hate to interrupt here. Yeah. I mean, um, one moment. When you said that you needed assistance at the brothel with something like heavy lifting of sorts, I did not expect it to be the heavy lifting of souls. Um, oh. I, I it really is not hate to... I who requires your assistance. Well, I feel like uh, Lyra would disagree. Um, I am doing very well uh, following Lyra and her teachings. Um, honestly, this entire time, I do not know which god you serve. Um, but I feel if I could give maybe helpful criticisms. Um, maybe... A brothel is not the place to preach celibacy? Just a thought, a little bit of a critique. Don't like feel that you need to take it to heart, but I feel like maybe a change in venue, perhaps, would help your I d cause. I do, I do teach where I am most available, and I am available where it's cheapest, and this is a cheap place. Um, as it he's depends on what you, room you're in. <laughs> it is true. Um, as he's speaking, um, you hear like kind of a shuffle of feet behind. Ah, uh, I will turn around. Um, 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 sir, it was me who who asked you to be here today. Oh, and what can I do for you? You see, I, it's my sister Cherry. I, as she has gotten involved in some really dark magic. And I, um, I was just really worried that she was, uh, conspiring with someone tonight, um, in her chambers. And I, uh, I just wanted to find out if you could go and, um, stop her or prevent her from making a deal or from, um, hurting herself or being hurt. And I just, I'm just so weak. My family was to do it all by myself. And I was just hoping a strong man like you could take care of this for me. I, I mean, yes. I would love to help. I am always available to help those in need. 
uh, I'm he, to he, my heart. he kind of like slowly behind his shoulder side eyes the priest please tell me where she is at so that we may leave oh yeah she's right over here um, as she leads you to the door Olivia you and Sherry are having a good time probably let's roll for it <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Olivia <laughs> Olivia, huh? Olivia, Olivia. Um, why don't you give me a performance check? Okay. Um, whatever Cherry and you have agreed to be doing right now, um, you're better at it. It's terrible, and you can't believe you spent any money getting in. <laughs> Isn't that the best you've ever had, Miss? <sighs> well, I can't say that I have any experience, but I could also say that that was something I can't believe I was here for. <laughs> we could do more if you'd like. This was extremely fun for me. By a difference of about 12 points, I'd say. <laughs> you know, I think I'm okay. Oh, that's so sad. Let me um give you a, a brief little dance. Um, she starts turning in circles. Um, believe it or not, her dancing is actually really good. Um, it's a natural. <laughs> it's a six. It's a six of. It's it's decent dancing. She thinks it's really. It's um. It's probably funny, um, but she's doing that thing where you kind of like hold up your fingers as pointer fingers and just kind of do dudes in the air while spinning in circles. Um, that's oh what she's God. doing. She's she thinks she's very sexy when she does it. That's like that's the key. Finger guns. <laughs> finger guns, um, Oof. into the air, while circling, and she thinks she is the hottest thing in town. Just so you know, Olivia, she's not very. Um, <laughs> it's not attractive to see. But she thinks it is, and that's what's important here. Um, yeah, Faradun, she is leading you. Oh, mister, I thank you so much for coming. It's it's just up here, just around the corner. Yeah, it's just through this door here. There's my my sister's consorting with all sort of wicked men as of late. Um mm -hmm. Pick and Pepper. Yeah. Um, can you both roll me perceptions? I mean I can try. <laughs> um where's the first one? 20? Wow, nice roll. Thanks! They're alphabetical on the skill sheet. Sorry. Which is in the middle. So if you look at where intelligence is. Oh, I see it, I see it. Perception, and I clicked the button, and I rolled, and. Thank you. Bear with me. I'm sorry. Why are my dice moving so slow? Oh, this happens. It's a slow computer. We've we've been through this rodeo. 13, that's great. Um, okay. it's, it clears the DC. So, um, while you're looking, Pepper, at the different, uh, plants on the ground, um, you notice in the corner a small figure sitting on a mushroom, um, protruding out of the wall. And, um, I can't speak to how Pepper views that person or what, what she thinks upon seeing him, but I can tell you you're very impressed that they, a mushroom growing up the wall can hold the weight. Um, pick. You notice Pepper kind of glancing at you. You don't have any idea who it is, and go. Oh, Pepper's looking at me? Oh, yeah. In your direction, and definitely uh, perceives you. Oh, no. Um, so what Pepper would see is this little, like, goblinoid fella who, well, it's like two and a half foot, like, toy soldier looking ass <laughs> and <laughs> they're not really moving um but they're wearing this like nice little blue outfit there's like a couple small weapons on them they look like they're carved out of some really nice stuff <laughs> um, okay. um but they're just pepper, sitting there pepper would probably you know oh i just realized this person was in here oh um, hi there. Were you here for the show? Pick doesn't answer. <laughs> Are you alive? 
can I walk closer? Can I move? You can or move no? your character, yeah. Okay. Ab moves a little closer to try to get a closer look. He hello there. Wow, yeah. their outfit is really nice. <laughs> well, it's not really nice. It's pretty scuffled. Oh. It's obviously yeah. seen some wear and tear. This is oh. not a well taken care of toy soldier figure. <laughs> like, you know how toddlers have those dolls that are made to look kind of like them and they're like oh, the same it's size? It's like a doll, like for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Pick looks like yeah, a doll. Yeah. Pick looks so, like a toy soldier. So she'll step up close and she'll kind of pull out a, a hanky or something that's among her stuff and kind of clean off his hat. Because she thinks at this point it is a little toy. And <laughs> she'll just be like, oh, somebody left you here. Okay. Um, we'll see if we can find your owner. If not, you can travel with me until we find a nice kid that'll love you. Pick is confused, but listening. <laughs> um, you're stationary, not moving, and yes. using your class features. Yes. Okay, I just want to make. I I don't um, technically like I have an idea of why I'm here, but I technically don't know why I'm here, Zach. So. You were looking for a meal, and you got confused with oh, the dialect. And so right, 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 right. Okay. Okay. Thank you for confirming. Okay, so Tomb, to clarify, so Pepper is, like, cleaning his hat. Yeah, like, his hat is still on him, but y you told me yeah. he's kind of like a toy soldier. So yeah. And she sees he's got some wear and tear, so she's trying yeah. to, like, clean him up a little bit. Like, damn, somebody didn't take care of him. <laughs> That's sad. So, um, there's a little sniffy noise. Like a, do you have food on you? <laughs> <laughs> Gets a little spooked, but just takes a moment and goes, uh, yes, you can talk? Yeah. And now that you can see his face, it's like this, it's still kind of hidden between the hat and like this really big collar that hides most of his face, like nose down. Um, he's like, uh, yeah, um, I'm but so he looks sorry. like a little tiny goblin <laughs> now. Sorry, mister. I didn't mean to be touching you without asking. I I'm I'm really sorry. I mean, I, I, you can make it up to me by giving me some food. I'm really hungry. Um, I I can kind of search for something to, to feed you. I'm I'm real sorry. I'm not I'm I'm really not picky. Bread, apple, pe peanuts, baby. Whatever. So, can I can I give him a ration of food, Zach? Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, as you're reaching into your bag, hand over a ration. So Raya comes back into the room with Algus the Destroyer. Oh. That's that's them right there. They didn't pay attention to my show and they won't get out of my room. Okay, oh. you heard the lady. It's time to get moving. You uh, can be here, but not in here. Um, uh, I paid you can to go be wait in here. In, you can wait in the foyer. So Raya needs to change. Uh, okay, I don't really like what I see anyways, so bye. <laughs> Are we allowed to come back in after she's changed? Is that all right? Absolutely. You can even stay and watch her change, but it's an extra fee. Um, no, I'm okay. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Proceeds to step outside to wait to be let back in so she can keep looking at the mushrooms and flowers. Um, Pick and Pepper, <sighs> as you exit the room, the door slams shut. Um, can you both roll perception? Yes. Thank you. I'm still learning. No I'm still learning. Like, oh. D and D Beyond is completely different. I rolled an eight. Um, I rolled Pepper, a... as you yeah. as the door slam behind you, you hear Silvira, uh, sorry, Sil Silvira, um, scream in joy. Oh, they're finally gone. Now we have a moment alone, Algus the Destroyer. And then just wet more scents. Um, <laughs> Kick, you did not hear this, so you rolled too low. Oh, um, thank God. <laughs> um, Faradun, can I get a perception? You can. 
Let me get my new Fairadun face that I never thought I'd be able to The use. face Pepper makes. Can I hand Ooh. him the Russian, though? What yeah. a good roll. Is it perception? <laughs> yes! 20. Yes. Um, as you are walking into the room behind Pearl, you notice uh, two figures getting shoved out of the door um, in this general direction um, from a nearby room, and the door is slammed shut behind them. Um, oh, just this way, sir. Just this way. My sister is probably consorting with all sorts of demonic folk tonight. <laughs> come, come. Come this way. <laughs> hey, Cherry. So I brought that second guy we met for our, what? our duet show. What? <laughs> I have been misled. I look, I look at Ferritune. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> like, his ears are just flat back. He does not like getting lied to. The more the merrier. What is this? Right, Pearl? Uh. It's okay, Olivia. Pearl's much better than I am. Well, I mean, I would certainly hope so, but also, this is not exactly the way that I expected to be introduced to them. <laughs> it's okay, we don't do things together at the same time. It's just nearby. Okay. <laughs> Speak because plainly, that makes it please. Better. What is happening? You said that you needed help because your sister was consorting with evil magics and many men. What I come to find is that your sister is, I do not know if that is consorting, but there's finger guns and only one other woman. What is this? I was unex- I wasn't expecting another woman. I'm so sorry, sir. I was hoping for, um, something else. Wait, can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what am I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> That is That's totally up to, up to you, actually. <laughs> oh, um, God. I, I, don't, I don't pick that. I mean, well, I mean, considering what was happening in here. I mean, that, maybe you were, like, halfway in was... into it, and you're like, I'm going to, like, oh, yeah, you go, girl. You take off. Why are you taking your clothes off? I'm going to leave mine on. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So, like, like, to... like, literally, when I, when I do sex scenes specifically, because I don't know people's comfort zone with because you two are new, um, I'll do hinting at and kind of black scene. Um, you can fill in what you're comfortable with. Like, obviously, we did performance roles, etc. But I'm not, I wasn't like she stuck her tongue in your ear because like <laughs> that's not. What, what I'm like, I may like that, but you might not. So oh, I, I'm just like. <laughs> um, my comfort zone, well, at least when it comes to that, is no blood. Otherwise, whatever. <laughs> so are you? Because like, are you naked or not? Uh, sure. So, for that whole conversation, Fairdune's hand is, like, in front of his eyes? <laughs> like, you know, like, when you put your hand next to your face and you're just like, why? I got it, I got it. This? It's this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm probably also doing my best to cover up, but I don't really have anything to cover up with because it's probably on the floor. Oh, sister nice. of mine, we managed to get not one, but two cat people in here with us tonight. That is some sort of microaggression. <laughs> but I do not know this woman. I have been misled. I am very sorry, but I am leaving. This yeah, is... you know, I was also just on my way out. I'll just, you know, this I'll be getting not... these. This is not for me. What is the weapons policy in this place? <laughs> you can have your weapons in here because it's a brothel and they are also equipped with weapons and most of them have some basic knowledge of spells. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna like grab my, my clothing like, from the floor and... slowly backs away. <laughs> As you were backing step away, step. Um, the third sister shows up. Oh, hello, sir. My name is Destiny. It is oh, no, <laughs> no, is no, 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 no. Ferdoon's out, goodbye! <laughs> I'm gonna quickly slip my dress on and grab my scythe and uh, <laughs> also make my way out. He's got like, he's got like his oh, hands on his I'm knees and he's just you like... Had my yet. <laughs> I don't need it! <laughs> 
<laughs> Which direction does that door open, in or out, from where we're facing? <laughs> I'm, you slammed it in my face. I did. Okay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> that. <laughs> so, um. so, like, you see this six foot tall Kirikal just, like, distressed. <laughs> Um, Faradun, the owner of this, uh, this fine establishment, um, Shemria Firetail, a uh, very large uh, female dragonborn, uh, stands over uh, seven and a half feet tall. Um, she sees your distress, and she immediately rushes up. Oh, sir, is there something that's uh, the matter that I can um, compensate you for or pay you for your time so you don't tell other people to not come here? Because no, no, have, no, 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 that, no, that will not be necessary. I just, I... I don't want to complain, but like ah, that, ah, that was misleading. I am sure they are very fine women, yes, but well, they are not. I can tell you Faradun. at least one of them isn't. Yes, they yes, they are a very peculiar bunch. But the the, the, the of the trade, I assure you, destiny is the most harmless. That is, is fine. A pure sort, a special soul. I would pay you. Money do not talk to me about it. <laughs> he, here well. and he if like anything I can do to hands your over here, like a silver. Um, <laughs> just just absolutely anything we, we can do to make your stay with us more comfortable. Um, yeah, if you want to go sit by the fire, um, there's a bard who's about to perform. Um, and we can get you refreshments. Uh, just anything to make you more comfortable, as you seem very under duress at the moment. They're so nice. That, uh, is the bard well known? Oh, no. He's just, um, a local lad who, um, well, it keeps him off the street. Is this, and like, his first important. concert, or does he need other stuff? Like, yeah, you know what? Oh, he... I will go support the arts, but not that art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to just kind of walk across and, like, sit in a chair. <laughs> um, Olivia, the uh, proprietress, um, sees you. You don't look um, visibly perplexed, and so she just kind of nods your way and then walks off. I'm standing really still, so I look like decoration. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, uh, a seat and refreshment sounds fine, so I'm going to also go and take a seat over in this direction. <laughs> I'll take Pepper, that. Um, huh? Pepper, this lo tall dragonborn um, notices you from uh, across the room and uh, approaches you. Um, hello there, little one. I am the proprietress, and you seem to be um, hanging out in the foyer. Is is there something I can do to help you? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I was actually rather interested in your forest room. I heard you guys have been growing a rare breed of mushroom. It has medicinal purposes, and some of the people in town might need some of the medicine, so I was hoping to gather, or at least figure out what breed of mushroom it was, to better assist the town. Um, oh, absolutely, you... my dear. I have a list of everything we've used for Silraya. Um, her room, um, all of it, of course, from overseas and uh, various uh, caravan routes. Um, because she was very particular about the things that we grew for her showroom. Um, if you'd like, I can go and get you a list of all the different uh, things we've had delivered, and uh, oh. some of the vendors that we went through, uh, just to eat, uh, to aid you, right? Um, and I do see you have a toy with you. If you could take that with you, um, just over to, and she points where the bard is, um, over in this direction. Um, and if you want to just go over there, uh, I'll bring you some refreshments, and I'll bring you that list shortly. I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. And yes, I, I will take the little one with me. Um, let's go. What's your name, little friend? <clears throat> Is the thing gone? Is the other person gone? Oh yeah, they're quite yeah. gone. They're gone. It's Pick. Well, Pick, can I pick you up? Or do you want to Yeah! Wait? Okay. <laughs> Proceeds to pick up Pick. Um, and kind of cradles like a kid. He's a remarkably heavy little fella. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. 
so he's actually just like he's just enjoying that you actually offered to pick him up. He's living off of this. <laughs> um, Pepper and Pix, since you're still over by the door, can you also roll me a perception again? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was starting to move, but I'll do a perception. Seventeen. Um, I really don't want to hear sucky sucks. <laughs> Pepper doesn't want to hear that. Oh no. Oh. Pepper and uh, Pix, you both hear banging against the door. As uh, a large horse is pushed against it, you hear the voice of uh, Soraya yelling, Yeah, is that what you want? You want it harder? You want it harder? So there's a lot of stuff happening in there that you probably are questioning. But, I don't um, want to be here. Let's go. Yeah, let's let's go. I am uncomfortable. Come on. It picks up Pick and walks over to the empty chair um, and speaks to Olivia. Hello, is the seat taken at all? Uh, not yet. Oh, uh, oh, is no. it alright if me and my friend take it? I mean, it would be taken by then. Thank you so much. Pick pretends to ragdoll as soon as he's put down. Well, Pepper's holding him like like, oh. he's like, like a baby. Oh, like okay. I'm just gonna move right there. I'm gonna be right yeah, in front like, of you, but yeah. yeah. I'm, am Pepper's I just sitting on your lap like a weird ventriloquism doll? Yes. Like just holding this ration, and I'm like, I'm so ready to eat it. I'm so ready to eat it. I'm so ready to eat it. Oh, if she sees he's still holding the ration, she might take the ration out and put it near his mouth like you would with a doll. Just like, like, like here. Because she, I, I think she's it. kind of picked up that you don't like other people. Just drop it. Just drop it in the hood. Okay, I'll get okay, it. Okay, puts it in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Very confused, Pepper. But she's holding on to him by like the waist. He's sitting on her lap, but she's holding him like a doll on her <laughs> on the waist. Yeah, Tim, low key, like I love that you're going with this. She she is. She's confused, but she doesn't. She hasn't had the thought to question it just yet. She hasn't done the question. I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah. All right, the bard begins to sing. It is a happy song about maidens and love and getting cheated on and killing the husband and then having a love after after and Sweet and justice. good happy feelings and justice and and killing some other rando for fun and That's... then doing things with the body and then having yeah. really fun times with the wife again. <laughs> And then going on an adventure and killing a dragon. This is obviously made up part of the song. Um, ah! Getting a horde of treasure, which obviously also is made up, but he was here. Um, but also having bloody tears come out of the eyes of his wife as she realizes that this guy killed everyone else that she loved so she could only love him. The end. Um, the performance was a 19 out of 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that oh, was damn. magnificent adult content. Interesting. I will that is that is worth uh that is worth a tip. And I am going to give him one gold piece. But please do not sing me that song again. <laughs> um while everybody is looking at the bard pick is going to shove the bread or the ration up his sh sleeve? Quick question. And then there's like a little blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Zach, Pepper you, does not take ask money out of my character question. sheet? Yeah, all of us start with three gold this campaign. Almost all of you. Oh. Yeah. Almost well, the thing is, is I was looking at a six and now I'm looking at a four after removing one. Weird. Did, did we did we do that at the same time? I didn't take anything out of your inventory. Oh, that's odd. I'll yeah. just add one back then. Weird. Okay. Whatever. All right. Confusion over. All right. You guys have about five minutes to do your introductions and let people know what they see when they perceive you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Who, who wants to start? Uh, Pick a silent. <laughs> huh? Pick, Pick a, a silent. silent. 
Because he's what? watching the room. Ah. Um. Well, Pepper is holding on to her new little friend and trying to form questions to ask her little friend in a little bit. But um, when you look at her, you see um. Her backpack, she probably put it by her feet to be a little more comfortable, but you see an oversized backpack filled with, um, you know, it's got bottles and uh, there seems to be like a cauldron type thing attached to it. Um, you can see that it's, it's, she's heavily traveled and she's just littered with potion bottles and, and what seems to be more like tinkery things on her. I don't know if that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah. Hair color, skin tone, height. Oh, um, she has auburn red hair. She is about, um, I believe I put her at 5'5". Five five. Can't remember that. Um, she is a little on the heavier side. Um, she's pale with a bunch of freckles and a very, um, very kind smile. Very, you know, happy-ish smile, you can say. It's a very calming presence. Um, and uh, bright uh, blue eyes. Awesome. Thank you. Faridun? So, uh, Faridun is a... Let me get my height right. Because I think I have the wrong one. Ah. <laughs> so, you see before you a rather tall caracal tabaxi uh, coming in at six foot three. He's of... Uh, he's not of a big build, but he's definitely kind of stockier. He's got a bit of muscle on him. He is wearing a bright golden yellow cloak. Um, he's got some, uh, let me see here. Let me get my picture. Cool. So he's wearing a bright gold cloak. He's got a, a, a red kind of Persian inspired jacket on, a, a, a reddish leather belt. He's got a a set of uh, some kind of light looking chain mail and he's got <laughs> he's got uh, what else does he have? He's got a, a blue sash in his belt and a so he got a tail? He does so he does have a tail but you can't see it because he's wearing a, a big old cloak. Okay. Okay. Um, Olivia, wanna go? Um, sitting in this chair is a, not the tallest, but fairly tall at six foot two, uh, Leonin, a lioness with, uh, golden blonde fur and brunette hair, uh, in the brightest pink silk dress you might have seen this side of the bay, uh, and a pink-ish scythe blade on a mahogany staff uh, as a weapon just hanging out nearby as, as a person would lean a cane against the chair or something. Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's about it. She's, she's, she's not she's not small, but she's not big. She's kind of average build. I guess that mm. would be it. Beans. If you guys want to introduce at all, if you're all sitting amongst each other with the bard, otherwise the bard is about to spring into another song. Ooh. Um, I I'd probably look at Olivia and be like, well, that was that was quite a performance. Story was quite compelling. I will admit. Though, rather long-winded. Oh Friends. my god, yeah. It has always been a tenant of mine to help where help is needed, and I feel the best way to help us is to leave. Oh, um, that is actually not a bad plan. I feel um, like we could find better accommodations. Oh, you guys are staying here? No, <laughs> no, I would, no, do not imply this. Do not imply this. No, no. 
Uh, I was told that somebody here needed help, and then that help was apparently group six. <laughs> so, are you making the scrunch face? Very scrunchy. Like, oh. Federdune is the champion of scrunch face. <laughs> oh. oh my, that is very unkind that they misled you like that. Um, I mean, I, I will give them this. It is a brothel. I should have expected this, but... Yes. I, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm actually waiting for the owner to see if he can, uh, they can give me the the list of plants they used in that room. And honestly, I'll be on my way. I'd rather stay in the forest tonight. At least the forest will try to sleep with you. <laughs> this makes Pepper laugh. <laughs> As you're laughing, Pepper, the uh, proprietor <clears throat> does approach you. Um, so, it, it seems we've got a bit of a, a problem here. I do have the list. Um, it, it seems that your companions have upset my girls, and uh, this needs to be rectified. We um, have upset them. It seems that the this gal just beyond you, um, that you, is this a friend of yours? Um, uh she ap she apparently did things that Cherry didn't agree to, and that she hadn't paid for. So I'm gonna need you to uh, pay up um, or get out. Uh, I'd love to help you with the list, but uh, this kind of takes precedent. Things, things that <laughs> she did not ask for. Speaking of things that she did not ask for. Mr. Long man in front of me here was led to me by one of your girls. I did not ask for this. He did not ask for this. I feel like we were the ones who were wronged here. Very wronged. I, I just, my, my girls are just so sweet and so kind. Kind-hearted. I just, I can't believe that they would do something like this. I, I'm not running that type of operation here, you see. And you is, may not, not be. You literally not just stand. asked if there was anything you could do to wipe this event from my memory, and I said, I said, I wish not to speak of it. I paid you gold to not speak of it. Why are we speaking of it again? It's, it's changed, and, and... Very well. If you get out and promise to never return, I think I can look the other way this one time. But don't show your face again, or I'll call the guard. Um, this she, is good she's, for Feradun. She's huffy and puffy um, in appearance, and Pepper, um, as she uh, walks by, she, like, very discreetly with a nat 20, uh, hands you a slip of paper um, and winks at you. She doesn't say anything. Zach, Zach, um, Zach, can what? I try to pickpocket the the listy thing <laughs> of um, mushrooms? Yeah, I mean she's handing it to Pepper, but you can try to. Steal oh, is that is that what she's doing? Okay, I thought it was a different note. No, that's now that I'm good. <laughs> I retract my statement. Okay. Pepper quietly thanks her, grabs her stuff, along with pick. She gives holding pit. She's like. Holding pick like a baby because she doesn't want to dangle pick because <laughs> pick is obviously alive. So she's holding like a baby with one arm, like a toddler. <laughs> yes, like, like on her hip. Her, like his head is on her shoulder, so she's like holding him so he's not like dangling or anything. <laughs> like okay. I will get my own doll to show you. <laughs> no, I believe you. I know. So Zach. Uh huh. Because of his constitution, whatever, since his front of his face, where his eyes normally are, are hidden, I would like to move one of the eyes through the goop to the back of the head so he can see himself. Yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> you know you can do that. It's a class leader. I know. I'm just letting you know. So if anybody needs to make a perception check. Nope, it's that good. one of the eyes has seemingly drifted. <laughs> no, Not the only the person ear. who might notice is Pepper, but... 
Pepper um, does not notice. She is looking. She's very excited. She had her note. She's holding her new friend, who she will ask questions eventually. But at the moment, <laughs> it has not come up. It hasn't come um, up, so he's not going to see anything. Yep. So, yeah, m thank you for moving us. Yeah, but, no yeah, worries. heading out the way and ignoring what happened in the nature room. Yeah, and as all four of you walk past the door of the nature no. room, you no. hear sounds. You hear sounds. Uh, as soon as the door closes. A, somebody's getting a photo finish. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the door finished, Fetterdune immediately looks towards the sun and just goes... <laughs> Gently pats his back. There, there, it's all right, sir. <laughs> I was going to do a. There thing. was joy <laughs> in these moments, but Lyra has not yet shown it to me. <laughs> I will find the joy at a later um, date. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, this is fine. Lyra works in mysterious ways. It will be okay. No. Well, that's a good way to look at it. His entire demeanor, like 360. Now, new friends. Shall we go do something fun? Maybe get a drink. Get to know each other. I I could use a drink, actually. I did that's say a, a seat and refreshments would be great. I did not get any refreshments. Merely a seat. <laughs> and In the 20 weird minutes song. of the... 20 minutes of the strangest music I've ever heard in my life. Very much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yes, to the tavern then, eh? Okay. Having never been here before, I don't know where that is. That kind of I question. I feel like I should. Just pick know where it is? Pick knows where it is. Pick is a very, uh... Okay, regular... Pick's gonna... <laughs> this, is... this is the moment. Pick's gonna do the wiggle. His eyeball goes back where it normally sits. He jumps down. <laughs> She's like, I know where it is. Whoa. <laughs> Lead the way, mysterious friend. Hi. Hi. I see you have a sword. Looks up at him. I Are mean, you a fighter? Of sorts. Do you fight? I do fight. I fight for the joy of Lyra. Okay, well, that's really nice, but I want to challenge you to a duel later. That ah. is acceptable! And he cracks his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> we will make a glorious show of it. I'm gonna be the strongest fighter on the island. That is a lofty goal, and I will help support you in this. I'm very okay. good at watching people fight. I used to do it all the time where I came from. Um, but, uh, I, and I I'm very good at being watched, being fighting this stuff, blah, blah. Uh, as you're the first one to pass, um, as you're passing the first vending machine, a mysterious figure um, creeps out of the alley. Hey! Hey, buy some drugs. Buy some what? Drugs. They're the best thing ever. Um, Look, no. I don't want any drugs. We've already talked about this. <laughs> oh, pick, it's you. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, go to the other street. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye, God. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. He's remarkably fast for having such tiny legs. He is tap, tap, remarkably tap, tap, tap. fast. Um, All right, which, so which one's how fast is how, how fast is remarkably fast? Okay, for his size, it's only 25 feet. But you know uh. what? <laughs> well, remarkably fast for his size, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> it's like watching a Lollafell sprint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> um, so just to let you know, the I started doing the map this way. This first double door that you're walking past is in fact a brothel, and then I put the like actual building behind it. Oh, off the map. I see. Oh. Okay. Um, oh. I I Dude. don't like it. Um, at the top of the map, I did something else for a different area, and I like that better. So I probably won't do this again. Um, so it's a learning experience. It is. Um, so it's it's just too much to undraft because this this map, y'all, has three hundred and seventy two layers. Oh my oh, god. Goodness. Um, so pick is a little bit weird though because even though he is moving fast, he doesn't just go straight through the street. He's just kind of like skirting everywhere. Just like dun da 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 da. 
I assume it's this building on the top left. You are correct. Okay, cool. He's just do 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 do. Better do that. Yeah, this really is the roundaboutest way to get to this place. Yeah. He he does kind of scurry rather quickly. Wait, um. Um, Faradun, as you're passing um those guards there, um, you do notice that they uh seem to be. Um, trying to like blockade a uh, an area of the street. Um, they're kind of glancing around, very sus. That's all. Good afternoon, little friend. That's ahead of us. What's what's your name? I don't think I caught it. My name is Pick. Okay. P I C. Pick. Hi, Pick. I'm Pepper. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Is it or isn't it? I don't know. It is. You're just really fast. Thanks. I have to be. That's that's true. <laughs> and what's your name, ma'am? Uh, uh, the polite thing, ma'am, mister. Wait, who? Pointing at Olivia. Oh, I do a, uh, I do like a little like a curtsy with the, the dress. Olivia Gloomforce. Olivia Gloomforce. Okay. You're it's... not from around here, are you? No, you'd be correct. You I'm don't... actually from right over there. I just point like out across the bay. <laughs> He's like, he, like hands on hips, <laughs> staring and staring, and he's like, "You live in the water." Further, do you live in like, the water or not? <laughs> well, because okay, hold on, <laughs> Zach. Did you say that you could technically see where I came from from like the shoreline? Yeah, from the shoreline, you can see the island across the the strait, um, and it is a large island. With a uh, large-ish island with a large um, central kind of like I can't uh, see it plateau or step coming out of the center that a large like cathedral and buildings and the city is built on. Um, so you can see it at a distance. It's just like a, a shape rising out of the water. I can't see it. There's all this junk in the way. Wait, how tall is Pick? Two Four. and a half feet. <laughs> I... Can I just like? Can I just like yoink Pick without? Uh, like warning, and just hold him up above my head, <laughs> like the Lion King. <laughs> yeah, yes, but like a directly over my head, and not like not like out over a rock, but like up yeah. like directly above my head. Hey, I didn't consent to this. It's wiggle, over wiggle, there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, why, why don't we put him down? He, he is a person. You have to ask. People I see him. it. Okay, God, put me down. <laughs> I gently put you back on the ground. <laughs> and fire, dude. Hey. I'm sorry. What? Strong fighter man. What's oh, your name? Fighter man. I thought you said. <laughs> I thought you'd called me fire, dude. No. <laughs> it's pronounced Feradun. 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 Yes, Feradun. Fire My dude. enemy. Got it. Did you say you're enemies? Yeah, you're my new rival. Um. Did... Uh, We're gonna fight later. Why? This is true. Well, I mean, that, that's more like sparring partners. There than... will be combat. <laughs> there may be injuries. But it will be Good. Good. glorious. I, I mean, I can referee and I can heal any damage, but... How about you guys just spar? Friendly fight. I don't know how to do that. But that is not a true measure of prowess. Yeah, how are you supposed to prove who's stronger if you're pulling punches? That's just a combat of who can pull punches better. At that point, I would throw none. I'd pull them all. But, uh... But, um, you said you wanted to get a drink at the tavern. It's right yes. here. Well, let's... Let's Let go us in. drink, and then maybe we can drum up a crowd, earn some monies. I like that idea. Hold on. <laughs> Did you 
you can't see yours. As you yeah. enter the uh the tavern <laughs> the tavern hotel motel holiday inn, um you're greeted <laughs> by a uh, a lovely uh tiefling lavender skin. Welcome, welcome. How can I help you today? Yo, hello. We are a, we have a veritable party in here today. Does a group of four consist of a party? Oh, it certainly does, sir. Well, I'm then, yes, there's Laria. a party. It is a pleasure to meet your acquaintances. We have rooms aplenty. For four, at least. Hello, Flaria. It's very nice to meet you. Looks at party. Um, what? how much is a room for the evening? Oh, we have wonderful rates. It is one gold piece for a room, um, for up to four people. Or, um, if you would like to have your own room, then it's two gold pieces. You know, driving prices and demand. Mm. That is, I suppose, four? makes sense. I am not in the business of business, so sure. Um, perhaps though there may be uh some sort of perhaps in exchange for a discount, maybe a service could be performed. Nothing weird though. I oh, just yes. come from weird. I don't want to do weird. Do you Absolutely. need things scary? Do you need things fixed? I do have something. I could very much use assistance with, as a matter of fact. Do you need ruffians kicked out? No. You see, um, I had a spill in the basement in the cellar. One of my wine kegs was knocked over and there's alcohol spilled all over the floor. Uh, getting it cleaned up would just be such a help. Um, I can discount your room down to ten... Two. I can discount you to two silver pieces if you can clean up the basement for me. I would love to assist. Show me your basements. It's just this way. And I'm Hit back. Gonna go to yeah, what's that? Is there food here? Yeah. There's also a uh, person. Have they seen me? No. What an angry looking child. Can I... Have I seen Pick? I was not really paying attention to whatever was going on with Fair Dude. <laughs> yeah, you would have seen Pick. He's been scurrying along. Um, I want to try to slide of hand a fucking <laughs> vegetable <laughs> or something um, into my I coat. I I I'm sorry, I do not need... Role. Um, he is very invested in what he's doing. He has not seen you, and he mm -hmm. he has not seen you. Okay. Pick his peppers right behind you. Pick. Turn around. Ah. What? <laughs> um, Pepper. This individual who's in the kitchen area also doesn't perceive or see you or notice you either. He's okay. very invested in what he's doing. That's um, fine. I don't know why you're so close to me. That's kind of weird. We just met. I know, <laughs> but I. Why are you so I... obsessed with me? <laughs> um, are we gonna go do something? Faradun. Um. So, sir, this is Fragilla. She'll let you in to the basement. Um, for cleaning up. Hello, and Fragilla. I really appreciate your assistance on this. At the with our, our mutual agreement for you to clean the basement, the spilled wine, and to have a cheaper room. Um, just a verbal agreement to, to reiterate our, our arrangements for Fragilla here, because she uh, helps enforce things around here. She's quite a lovely lady. It is um, Flaria walks away and just kind of starts dooting and, and titillating on the piano in a very sing-song kind of way. Pick is under the piano, and he's like, ah, it's loud. Scurries. <laughs> Scurries. Happy Scurry. To Flaria. Well, never mind, actually, because I don't know, Zach, if I have any already made potions on me that I could trade. Um, you would have 
Technically, I would say no. Um, probably not. Not okay. yet. You need to make new ones. Uh, yeah, Sold apparently. out. Sold out at the moment. That's okay. She's going to sleep in the woods. <laughs> um, Faradun, so Adrilla addresses them. Yeah, you look like you're strong enough to deal with the, the spill downstairs. You see, the, the spill, I don't think, is the issue. It's, it's what's been attracted to the spill that's the issue. That's why I'm guarding the stairs. But you look like a strapping young man. I have been called many things, but the young is not yet on the list. Oh, yes. I assure you. I assure you. You are very young. Okay. Wait, can we all hear what they said? Yeah, oh, yeah. she's not. She's a very loud, uh, booming, gruff-voiced woman. Um, Wait. She has a very sexy, uh, kind of like stubbly mustache beard going on, too. Oh, love that for her. Wait, what's been attracted to it? Oh, you know, just those uh, things. Uh, what do you call them? I, I would need to have, like, a a priest or a, a wizard or some, some I, they're just they're bad they don't belong here they should die we uh, will that's take really care all of I know. did somebody say magic and death <laughs> yes as a matter of fact Faradun I think we may need to assist you I, I do welcome have plenty assistance. of experience in magic and death yes yes I can assume but yes, let us go downstairs then, huh? Bada, bada, bada. Excuse me, thank dun, you. Dun, dun, dun. Ding, ding, bada. Ding. Bada, bada, oh. bada. There's the spell. Oh. Do we need to make perception checks, Zach? Um, oh, sorry. Sorry, my brain just shut off for a second. Yes, please, I'll make perception. <laughs> oh, no, a 10. <laughs> 8. So good. Oh, wow. Not that great. Oh, none of them were that great. Um... Yeah, so um, it just looks like there is a spill on the uh, southern part of the room. Um, but as to what's been attracted, uh, at this point in time, it's not clear. Are you planning on lying? Oh, I thought you were going somewhere. Hi, Dad! Hi, Dad! <laughs> he has already gone. Aw, oh, damn. They always um, miss it. I have a Sorry weird question, that. but is there light in the room? Yeah, it's it's okay. it's illuminated. Okay, I was there's, sorry. No worries, there's torches burning on, uh, let's say, all four sides of the room. Okay. Hmm. Well, I do not see anything on Dwarf. Do either of you have, um, uh, I've heard of this spell, it is, uh, uh, what is it, what does it do? It cleans things. That would be easiest, is I do not have a map. They do not give us a map. I don't know how they expect that we could drink it, I suppose. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. Peek. What? Um, Are you absorbent? What is that supposed to mean? That, no, it mean? was just a fleeting thought. Were you not? Did I... Don't worry. I, Never I don't understand why you would even ask that. Why don't I just go back and ask for a mop? I don't. That know. sounds like a. I'm gonna go look at this spill. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, a mop would definitely be needed. Okay, well, thank you. All so the I'll. Hey, Pick, Pick, you notice it now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There appears to be some sort of great ooze. Um, kind of like. Does, uh, does it feel familiar? <laughs> does it feel familiar? It's uh, not touching you, but it does. Uh, it, it is like kind of gooped on the ground and appears to be uh, alive, uh, a liquid that's moving of its own volition. Um, I'm gonna growl so you at might... it. Okay. Okay. 
Um, it gravels back at you, um, even though you aren't able to distinguish where their mouth is. Mm. <laughs> is it like, this could potentially be a language growl or just a growl? It's just I'm a gonna... growl. Oh, okay. I will um, draw my weapon then, I suppose. All right, and that puts us in initiative. Everyone roll initiative. Ah. <laughs> so do we see the gray ooze that's now in front of us, question mark? You sure do, I promise you that. I rolled a 19. I also rolled a 19. Oh, what's your dexterity? I My... also rolled a 19. No, I rolled a 20, apparently. Oh, this is insane, you guys. This never happens. I rolled exactly. my, dex my dexterity is a plus two. Oh, I have a plus zero. So yeah, you go first. Well, say Pepper goes first. What was your said? Oh, yeah. A ten. Right, <laughs> Probably going last. Five. Okay, so it's Pepper, do you want... Olivia. Yeah, if you want to throw it in there, please. Pepper, Pepper Olivia, Olivia, pick oozes, and then Faradun. There you go. There's the initiative order. Wait, where did you put it? It's in general voice chat, because that's where we're at. Oh, thank you. Alrighty, Pepper, you're up first. Alright, so Zach, this is my first time doing this. Can you it make sure it is. me? That's alright. So in your so the beginning is you get to move um you are moving movement speed is 30 feet um so each square represents five feet okay um diagonals are weird and that the first diagonal is a five foot the second one is 10 foot okay <sighs> um so, so, then... if you, so what you can do is you can move towards the gray ooze the 10 feet okay um while you're doing that you can equip a weapon, or uh, draw, like your sword, or your axe, or whatever it is that you're wishing to use if you're going to attack at melee's uh, side. However, you do have um, <laughs> ranged weapons, yes. um, so you can also yeah. shoot it from a distance. Um, yeah. Instead of moving, you can equip your crossbow, um, your light crossbow, and then instead of moving, you can equip it and load it. Can um, I equip my potion launcher? You can, but just remember, it only does healing. Okay, then never mind. I didn't quite realize yeah, that. Yeah, so, so Tomb, if you look on your sheet, there should be something called actions. So that is, like, you get two actions per turn. You get a movement action and a, like, fighty action in general. Like, that's the basics. Yeah. So you don't have to, you can either move first and then do an action, or you can do an action and then move. Um, um, but if you click that action button, it'll list out all of the potential actions that you can take. It, it's uh, actions in, it doesn't tell me like anything about movement. It says, uh, attack, cast a spell, dash, disengage, dodge, grapple, help, hide, and it has yep, that. And then it'll list. So if you, if you, you can actually click on each of those things and it'll Zach, open a sidebar. Yeah, but Zach is her items equipped. Because if she doesn't um, have any of the yes, items yes, equipped yes, in the sheet. Are. Okay, yes, so they, they should are. show up there too. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well. The items hey. are there. So, um... Yeah, so any of those um, weapons that show up there, those are ones you can pull out and use. Um, okay. And then you could do an attack. Or when you get down further, it has other actions that you might have available based on your racial or class features. Yep. Okay, Miss Human, I have very little. It's fine. Um, no, you're good. So I'd probably grab my crossbow. It's probably pretty accessible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'd grab that, and then... So if you're going to attack the, the Great Ooze that's closest to you, yes. um, you can do that. And you can also attack the one furthest, um, as you should be able to see that as well. Um, so if you notice, it says there's... Uh, Next to you. Sorry, I got this. That's a cute sheet. This is your sheet. It says range is 80 and then 320. Do you see that? Okay. Um, so um, 80 is your, um, Sydney, we, it was 80 is the range for uh, a regular attack, and then the 320 was a 
That's so the max can... range. The yeah, 320 is the max, absolute, absolute is your max range. So I can hit either of the oozes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fine. Okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, because I don't quite know what pick is yet, um, I'm going to hit the ooze farthest slash closest to pick. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so then on your character sheet, where it that says one. crossbow, it says hit slash DC plus three. You want to okay. push that button. That's going to be your roll to hit. Okay. Eleven. Um, yeah. An eleven will not actually hit the target, um, so that bolt is going to miss. Okay. And uh, because that missed, you are able to still move if you so choose to do. Otherwise, um, this would be the point where you can, like, um, ready for your next action. If you're going to, like, re- uh, reload your crossbow or something. Or if you're going to move, you could do that at this point as well. Um, I would probably um, reload it. Um... Okay. Yeah. Your turn is over. Then it's <laughs> Olivia. Okay, um, I would like to cast, uh, how do you do, do you, how, Zach, what is your ruling on, um, spell materials? Um, if it's, like, a diamond, you gotta use it and it's gone. If it's something like the lint in your pocket, then whatever. Okay. Uh, so essentially like treat cast... it like as if you have the materials pouch. Which is, Correct. if it's right. under 50 gold for an item, you ha- it's in that pouch. Okay, yeah. I, <laughs> that's how I usually run it, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would like to cast Sacred Flame on Great Ooze number two. Mm-hmm. Uh, that requires Great Ooze number two to make a deck save of 12 or better. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> okay, so then I am going to deal 1d8, or I'm going to deal, yeah, 1d8 radiant damage. Mm-hmm. That is an eight. Nice. Alrighty. And you're gonna hang out in your spot or move or I'm gonna hang out here. Perfect. Next up we have Pick. Yeah. Um so Pick is going to take out his long sword and using two hands, he's gonna two hand it so it's a one D ten if he hits. Oh my god! You fucking kid. Okay, it's a seven. <laughs> Fine, it's Instead a seven. of a seven. It's a seven. Yeah, that's no good. I'm so mad. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna take my movement action just to move, like, right here. So I can get a better. Be like, okay, that was just bad. I'll just get a new angle. <laughs> but I'm still in, you know. Yeah. All right, Ooze's turn. Oh, they both like me. They do both like you. Uh, I rolled a six roll and a two line. to hit. Six does not hit. Neither does a two. Then no, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> Baradun is going to uh, get out his clave. And he's going to, uh... Oh. I can get... Uh... Oh, he can get all... I... Ooh. I can get all the way over here. Yeah! And I am going to... Attack! Great okay. Ooze number two! With my glaive, two-handed, of course. Ah, does a 16 hit? Of course, I sure do. Fabulous. <laughs> Roll damage. <coughs> For 8 damage. You said you were attacking number 2? Yep. I'm just gonna move it so you can see the names. There's someone right in front of me. Boop. 
like that one. Woo. It's dead. Hey, I don't need your help. There um, is nothing wrong in sharing a fight. Um, I I reload with the crossbow. I'll probably try to hit the gray ooze. So yep, there's only one left. Hit button. Nineteen. That does hit. So then you, the next one, right next to that hit, is damage. So then roll your damage. Um. Okay. Damage. Oh, look how cool that dice is! Look at it go. Mhm. Mm Funky little fella. Seven. Seven damage. Nice. Alrighty. Olivia? Uh, I am going to move to here. Mm -hmm. um, and I am again going to cast Sacred Flame on the Ooze. Which and it means it it's saved on this one. Okay. I believe that means it takes half damage. Um, it's cantrip, so... Uh... The if target click, gains. Yeah, oh. if you click on the spell, it'll pop up a side menu. Yeah, I'm looking. Uh, the target must succeed as a dexterity saving throw or take 1d8 radiant damage. The target gains no benefit from cover for the saving throw. Um, yep, so nothing else. But otherwise, oh, damn. Yeah, because okay. it's, it's a cantrip, so they're not very right. OP with half yeah. damages. Mm -hmm. um, pick. Okay. He's mad he didn't get to kill the first one, so he's going to try to hit the second one. And then long sword, come on dice, come on dice. Are you fucking? I mean, I'm not. <laughs> oh, that was just your first roll. Your second one will be better. Why would I get a second one? Because you're flanking. You roll with advantage. Oh, yep. God, I hope so. 20. Perfect. Hey. Okay, so to stop, 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 pick Pepper. This is what has just happened. So if you notice on the map, you have Faradun on one side and then Pick on the other side of the Grey Ooze, right? The um, opposite. This is the opposite side. So this is called flanking. So if Pick or Faradun now attack Grey Ooze, they get to roll two numbers, two dice, two rolls to hit, and whichever one is better is the one they get. Does that make sense? Two. Two. Yeah. Are you here? I'm here. Did you Did hear you what hear? Zach said? No, he kept cutting out. Okay, oh, so cool. if you look on the map, Faradun and Pick are directly opposite of each other with the monster between them, right? Yes. So in D&D, &D, there's something called flanking. When you have two characters that are like this on either opposite sides of each other with the enemy between them, you get it, what's called advantage. Advantage is you roll to hit twice. Okay. And you use whatever dice number is highest. So, oh. like, for this one, my first roll, I rolled a one, which is bad. But because I'm on the opposite side of Faradun, I got to re-roll the dice. And my second one actually allowed me to meet the, uh, to beat the Ooze's AC or the armor class so that I could hit them. Okay. So now I get to do some good damage, hopefully. Uh, and I rolled a 10. You rolled 10 damage? Yes, because I was I said I used it two-handed. Yeah. So I got to use the 1d10, and mm -hmm. then I got a plus 2. So, 10. Dead. Yeah! Squishy! Very squishy. Um, so now we have two gray ooze puddles on the floor, in addition to the wine puddle. Gross. Now we need a bigger mop. I'm gonna... Zach, can I, like... I mean, I'm pretty much already there, but can I, like, kind of squat down and poke at it? Yeah, totally. Does the consistency feel familiar? Um, yeah. You kind of, There's a, a dessert that you've uh, grown fond of that's uh, hard to find in this area, but it's called pudding. And it 
mine do a lot of that. Don't need it. Pick is gonna <laughs> take a fistful of it. Okay. And bring it to his face like he's smelling it. Okay. Um, give What's me... This? Okay, give me a, a uh, intelligence check. Tiana, a save? Yeah, a save. Okay. Um, I rolled a one. Okay, well... Um, I rolled two is... fucking ones! I need to go get regular dice. Fuck this. It, it smells amazing and very appetizing. Um, it smells on a scale of one to 20, uh, about a solid 14. Um... Can I see him? Can I see you him can, doing this? Um, you probably can not see him because he's short and behind a cast of uh, alcohol, and you're about 40 feet away. Okay. I mean, fair dude, man. <laughs> he's just <laughs> sniffing it. Yeah, I'm just letting you know the aroma is very appealing. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't say he wasn't considering putting it in his mouth, but he's not going to do it if everybody's watching him. Can I move freely again? Yeah. Yep. We're out yeah, of we are now out, out of open. initiative. Yeah, thank you. Sorry. No worries. Yeah, so um, when you're in combat, you're in what's considered initiative. Sometimes the DM will also say, like, if we have, like, a dialogue-heavy part, to be like, oh, we're going to do dialogue and initiative just to keep things in order. Um... But now that we're out of initiative, it's free game, and everybody can kind of go whenever, as long as we're not okay. awful to each other. <laughs> um, the sound of combat has subsided, and Fragilla enters the basement cellar. Oh, it sounds like a good fight is taking place here tonight. It I want to was a house. fabulous <laughs> fight. But we will need a mop and a bucket. I I thank you so much for your uh and commend you for your service. It, it actually um I have no issue taking care of this myself now that there's no imminent threat or danger. Um, your rooms have been comped for the night. I uh, spoke with Flurry, and I think it's just more fair since we put you in harm's way that we just pay for your rooms tonight with on us. Oh, well, that is nice. beautifully generous of you. Hey, Zach. Yeah, what's up? Everybody's distracted. Can I shove the ooze in my mouth? Oh, boy, you can. <laughs> Technically, you could take your mouth to the ooze, but, you know. You could do that. <laughs> Even if it's in your hand. I was going to say, you could just put your hand... You could just put... You could just I'm put so in the ooze yes, and just... It, it, just, it, just it just becomes, like, weird parasite, where it's just, like... Well, okay, he's wearing gloves, y'all, so, like, he can't That's just, true. like... Oh. But, yeah, we'll go that route. There's just, like, a little goopy tendril that comes out of his fucking sleeve. <laughs> just barely, and just, like, <laughs> like a straw. The six-fingered man! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the pinky of the glove just kind of goes a little bit limp, and then, like, and there's a little tendril, and then it goes and sucks it up, and then it goes back out. Actually, this bitch only has four fingers, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got three fingers and a thumb, so... The five-fingered, four-fingered man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's my baby... That's my baby pick! Um, pick? Yes. Um, it is melon flavor. <gasps> it's melon flavor?! Oh, oh my no. god. <coughs> um, pick's kind of obsessed with this flavor. Because he's never had it before. Um, so he's going to take his glove off and shove his hand right into the ooze. Oh no. <laughs> Can we witness this? Are we witnessing? <laughs> or are we are distracted you... talking to Fragilla? You're, you're presently all talking to Fragilla. This is an aside that Pick is having. <laughs> do you okay. want to have them do perception checks then, though? Um, how loud are you being about sleuthing now that your hand is in it? Um, you want me you to can roll? Always, you can always. Do you want me to roll like a stealth, maybe? Roll a stealth, and okay. uh, my passive is twelve. Have a DC. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Um. Okay. 
Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a disadvantage, so, um, hold on. Uh, nine. That is a nine. Yeah. Um. Because <clears throat> I have a disadvantage because of the armor I'm wearing. Yeah, twelve, twelve. Yeah, everyone hears you. Um, <laughs> I'll pretend they're on the look. I will also, like, turn. Yeah, so, like, you would just do, like, a hand, and then the ooze is just kind of vanishing. A pile. Yeah, it's just becoming a smaller <laughs> puddle. I will, as I turn... staring very intently at it. I think you told as... me you were not absorbed in it. Um, I, I didn't say that I wasn't. This is true, you just I did just asked why you asked you asked me. Alright, um, yes. Well, this is proof that you are. He shoves the glove back on his hand. We've learned I... something about each other today. You are absorbent. I... It's melon. Well, I, actually, he doesn't know what a melon is, so. Never mind. I take it back. Uh, he what does like it nectar. taste like? I mean, it, it tastes like melon, but he also is not going to say, oh, yeah, I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know you. Good call. <laughs> he doesn't know you. <laughs> um, all remnants of Grey's One are now missing and gone from the room. Oh. Yes, well, we all learned something about each other today, and I learned that I don't like watching these things disappear into whatever Pick is doing with them. Um, Absorbing well, them? That's like, one way to clean like, up. Like Faradun said. Yeah, that. Like a mop. Sure. Well, you enjoy I your just, slime I creatures, just, and I I'm gonna... just there's a, there's a thing in my sleeve, and it just I wiped it up. Okay. It's, a, it's okay, Pick. That's not a problem. I think that's very helpful. Mm. Are you gonna get the second one? Or no, because now it's weird. <laughs> what if we? Uh, I very no. like very much like turns away. Like, as strange as it sounds, um, if Pick is walking away, Pepper will try to get as much gray ooze in an empty bottle as possible. You are able to... Let me actually... Can you roll two medicine checks? Button, button. There we go! Two medicine checks. One and two. Uh, my dice just broke. I'm sorry. That's all right. Why do I have to roll a medicine check? How beautiful. Basically to determine if you collect it without contaminating it or fucking it up. Or yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 19! Alright, you are able to successfully gather one vial of Grey Ooze. Okay. Um, so for this, you'll want to put uh, a note in your inventory, and you can say one vial of melon flavored gray ooze. Okay. One. Oh, how do I do this? Give me your JC if you actually know how to oh do this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let me let me share my screen because it's gonna be easiest. Add add equipment or add add equipment. Yeah. Add equipment. Okay, I got it. Don't worry, I'm not that dumb. Okay. Yeah, I got it. I didn't say you were dumb. It's just there's a lot of buttons everywhere. There is a lot of buttons. Okay, Don't worry. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna close this because it seems like you figured it out. Okay. Um, File. Pepper, the sorry, I'll let you swipe that since I I'm talking over the screen. Can I just put a a vial? Yeah, you we'll... can add a add oh, a, look, custom a custom item. item. Yeah. No, yeah. you're not dumb. You literally. <laughs> Never, Never ever done. used D and D Beyond before. <laughs> you just we have. Said you weren't, and then you said you were. You need to pick. What? <laughs> Wrong pick. <laughs> um, Pepper. Um, the first roll. Um, for your check for gathering yeah. it. Um, as unsuccessful as it was, the second gray ooze is gone. Even though you only ended up with a vial, because the rest of it is like on your clothing and on your hands from trying to collect it. 
Oh, fun. Anyways, <laughs> all done. Virgilla is very thrilled, by the way. She's beaming. It seems like all I have really is to clean up the wine, because you've taken care of the rest. You are quite the group. How did the ooze get in here? Where are they from? I personally don't know, but if you ask one of the farmers, uh, there's a bunch of goblins out outside of town, uh, in the in the courtyard who may know something about it. They do have some crops for sale as well. Um, do we have a shower here? <laughs> oh, of course. Um, we have accommodations befitting a king. Well, not a king, but a, a king among paupers. Um, you'll you'll find uh, all the uh, bathroom accommodations one could possibly need in your chambers tonight. Thank Wait, so I'm getting a room. Be great. Um, she kind of does like an awkward half bow, um, and then kind of like walks away to grab uh, between the the barrels here a mop and a bucket, um, <laughs> and then starts to uh, cleaning the wine. Uh, wait, I'm getting a room. He's so yeah, you are. Come on. He guys. looks remarkably excited. Like he, this has never happened before. And he's just like running. <laughs> <laughs> so running. Are um, you coming through, Dune? Yes. Let us go. <laughs> Runs right into Olivia. Just thunk. <laughs> right into her legs because he's so excited he wasn't paying attention. Just thunk. <laughs> That's it. Ow. Thing. Pepper is quietly trying to figure out if she wants to give the vial to pick or not. She might hold on to it for a rainy day before pick. Ba da da Ba da da da. Where's this room? Where's the room? I think it's over here, pick. Oh, oh, it seems you're all ready for your wounds. All right, I, I know there's four of you. Um, but this room is, uh, already rented out for the night, I'm afraid. But the other three, um, are all available, however you see fit. Fabulous. Uh, uh, one of us has to share a room. Oh, okay. I don't mind sharing. I mean, I don't take up a lot of space, so I can just kind of sit wherever. Under the bed. On a dresser. And Fairy Dune will stick his head in each door. Before settling on this one, <laughs> including the rented door. <laughs> 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 well, uh, pick it's up to you, but I don't mind sharing if you want to share. She will take the first room. I think I'm gonna go explore a little bit. You can have it. Okay. Pepper's going to clean up. <laughs> All right. Um, there is actually a chamber pot in there. Um, and that is, uh, the, uh, bathroom area. It includes there's, like, a wash basin. basin. Yeah, That's there's a fine. wash basin, a toilet, like, that type of thing there. Listen, Pepper's used to, like, washing in a river. This is fine. I bet. She's just trying to get the ooze yeah. off before she goes to the farmers. Oh, little one. Do you play? Uh, play what? You're f feel free to play the piano if you'd like. Uh, I mean, he's going to look at it, like, climb up on the seat, <laughs> uh, and look at it, and look at it, be like, what is this? How do, what? Um, she kind of reaches towards the piano, but at the far end, so she's not rushing up or near you, and pushes down on them sequentially on the keys to kind of example, show you what's going on with it. There you go, like that. <sighs> He's gonna press on the keys. <laughs> and just kind of test the noises. <laughs> He's just like, okay, how does it make that sound? He looks at the... He's like trying to see over the fucking keys on the like board to see into the open piano. <laughs> He's just like, can't quite get it? He's like, mm. <laughs> Raises hand above head. Transfers eye. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. like monsters. <laughs> yeah. Like horror monsters. Um, 
So after pressing the keys for a little bit, he's just like, okay, you know what? I'm fucking done with this. Fuck this. <laughs> uh, hops off, and he's gonna just kind of, uh... Is, is Flary just, like, sitting here watching him? Yep, she's curious to see what you do, because you uh, are moving around and definitely toy-like. Um, okay. Let's go over here and look out the window. Pick is going to people watch out the window. Pepper might, after she's done cleaning up, go to the farmers. Okay. Am I okay to, uh, I think she's clean. Yeah, that's she's okay. Gonna, she's going to let Olivia know, hey, I'm going to go meet the locals, see if the farmers have every, anything I can use to make new potions. Would you like to come? Are you talking about going shopping? Eventually. You seem rather excited at that prospect. I do love to go shopping. Well, I am i wouldn't mind the company if you'd like to come, Olivia. Uh, absolutely. Well, let's go. Pick, are you going to stay over there or you want to come with? Where are you going? To go see what the farmers have for sale. Uh, oh, okay. You want to sit on my backpack? Maybe. No. Cat. No. Where's the big cat man? I believe the big cat man is in his room. Oh. You want to let him know where we're going, Olivia? Or... I suppose I could do that. Hey, Faradun! Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose I won't. <laughs> Faradun! <laughs> Max, I imagine I don't have any wares to sell, do I? Ah, uh, no. You, no? Okay. You've been very Fair charitable ahead. since you arrived. Yeah. Uh, the, the ladies are going to... He peeks out. Where are you going again? <laughs> We're going to see what the local farmers have to sell. I need herbs to make potions. They're going to go They're see what the farmers have to sell. They're, They're gonna go going buy herbs. Shopping. Like We're going it out to buy herb good. and drink. Food would be nice. I shall be awake. Okay. Um. So as Faradun is passing, Pick is looking at his back, <laughs> very intently, and following after. <laughs> Pepper kind of looks at Pick and goes, you want to sit on the backpack, or are you all right to walk? I'm good. Okay. Which way are the farmers? Oh, there. Uh, yep. Oh, but uh, Pepper... they're, they're over here. No, no, no. Yeah, but Pepper has a bad sense of direction, and will automatically start going the wrong way. <laughs> Where, where are you going? Aren't they this way? No, they're over there. Points. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Decides to stay close to Olivia. He recognizes her bad sense of direction. I suppose we just make our way that way. Hmm. Yeah, you don't have to wait for me. Yeah, we're not in combat or initiative. We just kind of go. I pointed. You can figure it out. I'll just follow after. No, because even if you point, she needs to like physically follow someone to not get lost. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, friend! You're yeah. like a tiny me. Yeah. Hello. There is no such thing. I as want a to tiny pet it. Me. Okay. You want to try to pet the cat? I would like to. I would like. Well, I would like to pet the cat if I can. Okay. Well, that is going to just be a uh, animal handling roll. So. Oh, Do you that's know how to handle thing. a cat? Uh, what the, is that like a nature check? No, it's an animal handling check. It's a... Oh yeah, there is an animal handling. Yeah. Check. Okay. I, yeah. You're right. You're right. Now you good. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. The cat has uh, avoided all hands thus far. Oh no. <laughs> so very so then what we need to do is just give more hands. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. I don't trust Meow. I don't trust this tiny four legged beast. Yeah. Can I can I do what I would normally do with with a cat in real life? Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Not that. Uh normally I would I would lean down to be much smaller than I than I actually am, and then I would just reach out my hand and let the cat come to me, because that's how cat works. I mean, yeah, you can totally do that. That's true. Cat no trust. Cat approach slow. Cat sniff. Cat step back. Meow. 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 Pepper. Yes. Cat walks past, rubs body against leg, turns around, <laughs> runs away, jumps Aww. over barricade, disappears. Pepper follows cat but does not go over barricade because obvious barricade but she and now guards. is in between two guards which um, she does guards not are realize like, ah what are you doing here no one is permitted down there oh i i'm so sorry but um the cat just went down there well the cat will have a short life for sure no one goes down there we're sealing this area off it is unsafe for normal folk like yourself What's down there? Everything. And nothing. <laughs> nothing is under there, I mean. <laughs> well, if there's nothing, then I can go get the cat, right? It is certainly the most unsafe place. But it's safe, but it's unsafe. It's it's not a bad place to have in the middle of town. It's so safe, but we're we're gonna fill it with cement, so it's it's fine. It's fine. It's good. <laughs> yes. I feel oh. like it's not fine. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't, I don't know why you, why you would say that. <laughs> I mean, are you scared of what's down there? Uh, me scared of? No. I definitely do not stay in armor all day because I'm afraid of everything that could kill me and squish me and hurt me in the world. <laughs> mm. Do you want a hug? Oh, from you, absolutely not. Because you could squeeze too hard and the armor could crush my lungs and I would die. So, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> this poor man. How did he ever make it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, is there any way to help the cat or get down there? Oh, I I wouldn't go down there. There's nothing down there. Just vaulted ceilings, mushrooms galore, herbs, Excuse me? some sort of tree growing down there. It's not a safe place to go. And definitely by the looks of you, has nothing that would hold your interest anyway. The only Look, way we could give you bird over there. <laughs> there's the only way we could let you go down is if you had the blessing of the mayor, or the city guard. But e either way, I I can't let you go down there. I'm just I'm just me. So which way is the mayor, and how do I get you to look the other way? I I can't look the other way. I just have I'm just I'm so captivated by you, ma'am. Aww. Uncomfy, <laughs> but but okay. This is what makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> this is what makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> this is more uncomfortable in the brothel too. She's a little more comfortable here. Um, I the... I can send you to see my superior. She she's she's that way, and he points up towards the north end of the map, which is the top, um, all the way down the road. Okay, I. She, uh, she she's good. she's not as pretty as you, but she could she could probably give you permission. Oh, thank you. Um, um he kind of like I'll be right back. Um, there's no chance I could try to grab the cat, right? No, not without permission. Okay, I'll I'll really be right back, Olivia. Um, I'm, while this is I'm... going down, I'm gonna have the other three do their thing because Pepper, that was an aside from the group. That's valid. Uh. I am complaining at Faradun about how the cat just totally ignored me after I did my my cooing. Perhaps it is because the cat was outcatted. 
I mean, you have a small cat next to two large cats, maybe it was just nervous. I'm always good with cats. Did, can I do a perception okay. check? This is yeah, exactly why I'm good with cats! <laughs> and as you should know, every cat is different. Okay, what do you want to perceive? Um, what's in the thing? Um, it's a tall thing. It's uh, kind of like a, a three-foot fence uh, garden area, so you can't see into it without tiptoeing or, you know, jumping up. However, you can, with that perception, smell the same smell as that ooze that you had. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna crawl onto the fucking trash. Can I see over it now? Yeah, you sure can. <gasps> I need it. Um, it doesn't look like gray ooze. It looks like big giant green circles. Ooze. He's gonna do a crawl with it. Da 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 da. And he's gonna try to slip in. Do I need to roll Success. anything? Success. Nope. You were you were fine. That was okay. Nope. nope. You good? Um. So he's gonna pick up uh this this thing. And shove his face to it and just like smell it. <laughs> it's kind of Give a awkward. big old sniff. Yeah, he's giving it a big old sniff and he's just like, Smart. This doesn't look anything like the thing in the basement. But why does it smell the same? And he's gonna open up his massive chompers like when he's sure that nobody's looking. Yeah. Uh, and take a big bite. Okay. It tastes same. exactly the same, but this one has a uh, kind of sweeter taste. <gasps> oh, he loves it. He loves it so much <laughs> that he just starts, like, chowing down, like, splitting it up <laughs> and just eating it as fast as possible. I was going to say, possible. doesn't it also have a very bitter rind on it? <laughs> yeah, he's it, he doesn't know that you're not supposed to eat that, though, so he's <laughs> literally eating the whole thing. Nom, 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 nom. Is that what you'd like to do then, Tick? Is um, to eat the melons? Yeah, he would like to eat uh, one of the melons, and then he's going to try to smuggle a melon out. Okay. Um, for <laughs> smuggling it out, um, I don't need an acrobatics. Uh, let's just... It's not really a sleight of hand either. Um, it's sleight of body. <laughs> it is sleight of body. Um, I mean... How about we do a stealth? Uh, okay. Oh, gross, it's my worst one. Okay, hold on, I gotta roll it twice, because I technically have disadvantage. Uh, ten. Um, yeah, we'll call that good. Bet. <laughs> so here he is, top of the fucking fence, <laughs> with this melon. <laughs> Getting ready to jump down. Funk. Uh, if that was a stealth check of 10 and my passive is 12, do I catch him over the fence? Yeah, you. I mean, you can definitely perceive it if you'd like to. Um, we were trying to see if anyone who, you know, wouldn't want the melons being stolen noticed. Did they? Right. No, they didn't. Yes! <laughs> no, they, um... They're engaged in a uh, a game of cards right now and are gambling with their backs to you, so they they have no idea what just happened. Tick is so fucking happy right now. <laughs> He's just like, okay, I'm gonna put this, put my bag down, put this in my backpack. Um, shifty eyes everywhere. I just, I just, <laughs> I pause in my, in my complaining and and <laughs> and cawing at Faradun about the cat, uh, for a second, and I just like. I just like start like quickly like tapping Faradude in the shoulder and like gesturing at the <laughs> at the sight at the sight of this small thing stuffing a melon in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep in mind, Tick is two and a half feet tall, and the melon they grab is around a foot in diameter. It's a large, right. it's a large, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and his gloves have, like, a little bit of the, like, pink melony guts on them still. <laughs> Fairdun's so just gonna, like, cross his arms and put his hand over his eyes. 
and be like, I don't Evaporate see fire. it. All right, at what? this point, Pepper, you can rejoin the party from your conversation. Hey, Olivia. You have to Olivia first. I, Olivia. I, I spin around from my sight at Pick. Instead of instead of doing the you know, uh, normal ninety degrees to the left, I do you know two hundred and seventy degrees to the right to Bold. look at Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the like the whoosh best way that to makes turn it... around. <laughs> you twimpsed in her general direction. I do I do twimpsed in Pepper's direction. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I'm like, a little frantic at the like. The passage of the cat, and also now this sight of Pick trying to smuggle a melon. <laughs> That's half the size of his him. Size. <laughs> and now suddenly being called from behind. So yes, I'm I'm a little scattered. So I do a nice spin to find you behind me. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spook you, Olivia. Um, um, the the cat went down into that hole there. Um, they said that there's like. M mushrooms and, and trees and things and you know those could be really helpful but they told me I need to speak with a mayor up north but if I try to go I might walk myself out of town um, could, could could you help me go speak with the mayor to see if we can go down there um I mean I suppose we could go try to find the mayor Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. What say you, Faridun? Shall we go find the mayor? So, Faridun, uh, will, he, he's, like, got his pocketbook out, and he's, like, he fishes out, like, two silver, and he just kind of, like, puts it on the the edge of the fence what are you doing the nothing why are you just leaving money there the it is a tip a tip don't worry well, about then you it. can hold hand up then you can tip me instead why would i tip you well it's better than leaving money out where anybody can find it at least if you give it to me you know it's in a good hand it is there for the goblin why do they need it and Faridun's going to lean down and go, because you're a little thief. I am a what? It is because you are a little thief. I take offense to that. Why mm -hmm. would you be offended unless you knew it was wrong? Peek. Um, as you're doing this conversation, Faridun, a, uh, a, a small pixie is uh, eyeing the gold. Uh, silver money pieces you li laid on the edge and it's kind of fluttering towards it with eyes wide. Hey, get lost! <laughs> be, be nice to the pixies, pick. That is not for you. I don't oh, think it's. Everything that's money is for Sylvan Bank. No, that is not your... how it works. <laughs> this Back. goes to the farmers. Off the melons. Can I try to grab it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to roll? Nothing. She's floating in the sky. She's not landed. You can definitely get it still for her. Yes! <laughs> Very well. Any Better money that's gives left on the ground is property of Sylvan Bank, but this time we'll let it slide. Have a nice day. Get lost, Have a nice day. money grubber. So, I have a weird question for Zach. Is that our banking system? Sure is. All money is held in the Fey Wilds, y'all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> My dad has a safe in the back of the Fey Wild. <laughs> yeah, he does. It's very full. It's very it's full. Safe. It's very safe. <laughs> That's nice. Um, they are very friendly. No, not technically. Um, no. General of uh, Guard and Mayor are the same person, Pick. Um, personally, okay. you, you wouldn't have had any interactions with him yet. 
Okay, but do you do uh, the stuff we had previously discussed? No, that's fine. Yeah, okay. you're, you're fine because they don't know okay. who you are. Okay, fantastic. I just wanted to clarify. Mm -hmm. No worries. <sighs> well, shall we? Yes. I think so. No need to dilly dally. Someone Maybe lead the fine. way. <laughs> I do hey. not know where hey, fair dude. Yes. Gives him one of his silver back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I gave you one of your silver that I stole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the... Back. He... You shouldn't leave your money around. <laughs> he came to, once again, okay, another, girl, like, too. but confused scrunch face. Like, it's not good to leave your money just hanging around. People will take it. You yeah, people like you. I don't take money. You pick. You just did. Because you left it on for anybody to take. I left I am a free person. The <laughs> people of which melons you stole. I don't. Like what is a melon? It's what you have. I don't know what you're talking it's, about. It's the... We will discuss this later. <laughs> when we, so when we like, get home, we'll talk about this. Wait, this, this way is closed oh. off. Can I help you folks? Um, hi. Yes, hello. Yeah. Um, I was speaking with the guards down the way. They told me to speak to the head guard or the mayor. Um, oh yeah, the... she's the same person. She's just ahead. Um, uh, I'll, I can go get her. I just it's not safe for civilian folks such as yourself. There's a breakdown of a large machine on the road, and um, we're, we're she, she's just taking care of it. She's our head artificer of the of the area, and is very oh. very skilled in automobiles and cars from the uh, old times. 